Hi, I'm Yao. I am the founder and CEO of ODK. Today, I want to show you a few of the geospatial features that are available in ODK. Let's get started. With ODK, you can collect points, lines, and shapes on a map. You can collect that data with your on-device GPS or connect an external GPS if you would prefer. To collect the points, you can tap on the screen manually, or you can even put your device in your pocket and walk around an area, and ODK will automatically collect accurate points for you every few minutes. You can also automatically log the time and place of every action taken during the form filling process. This feature is great for ensuring that data was collected correctly and that there was no cheating. We're very transparent about this background tracking. Enumerators can see this warning that you see on your screen and they can disable this feature if they prefer. This action of disabling will also show up in the log and so supervisors can follow up if necessary. ODK has powerful geospatial features built in. So for example, you can use form functions that calculate the area of a plot or support reverse geocoding so you can convert latitude and longitude to an address. And like all things in ODK, this feature works entirely offline. We've also just shipped some basic geofencing so you can make sure data collection is happening in the area that you expect. We've made it easy for you to import offline map layers. These layers are great for adding high resolution imagery, annotated maps, and more. This example that you're looking at, this orange layer that you see on top of the satellite base map is of land use in Nyakuru in Kenya. So orange is cropland, blue is water, and so on. In addition to layers, you can also add your own geospatial features from a CSV or GeoJSON to the map, and you can style them. So for example, you can make hotels red and restaurants teal. And importantly, you can use this metadata about these geospatial features in your form logic. So for example, if the place that I'm tapping on is a hotel, you can then ask questions about the number of rooms. Or if it's a restaurant, you can ask about what type of food they serve. So that's a summary of some of the geospatial features that are available in ODK today. If you have an upcoming project that would benefit from these features, request a personalized demo at getodk.org to see these features in action. Finally, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe.